Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to turn a permutation in two-line form as a product of this join cycle. In this case, we are given two permutations P and Q. They are permutation of eight symbols, so they belong to S8. Now, let's look at what the textbook say about this. In section 9, page 88 of John Fairline text, say that by examining the orbits of a permutation sigma, that is how sigma x on each integer from 1 to 8 on one of the circle by carrying it to the next integer on circle traveling counterclockwise. I will illustrate this to help you to visualize what this statement is trying to say. And then we all know what is meant by a cycle. And then on page 89, it says that Every permutation sigma of a finite set is a product of this joint cycle. Now I'm going to illustrate to you how to turn P into this joint cycle. First, I'm going to start with integer 1 and see how P acts on 1. Now P acts on 1 and send it to 6. So I start with 1, 1 will send to 6 by P. Then I look for 6 now. P will send 6 to 5. P add on 6 will send to 5. So 6 will go to 5. Then at Px on 5 and send it to 2. So 5 will go to 2. Then I'll see Px on 2 and it send it to 7. So 2 will go to 7. Then P add on 7 and send it to 3, so 7 will go to 3, and then P X on 3, it goes to 4, so 3 goes to 4, and P X on 4 goes to 8, so 4 will go to 8, and P X on 8, it goes to 1, 8 will go to 1, so in this case P is actually a 1 cycle. You can write P as a cycle 1, 2, 6, right? 1 to 6, then 6 to 5, then 5 to 2, then 2 to 7, then 7 to 3, then 3 to 4, and then 4 to 8, and then 8 go back to 1. So instead of writing 8 go back to 1, we close the cycle so that, so that 8 will repeat to 1 again. So P is actually one cycle. Let's continue to look for the cycle notation for Q now. So I'm going to start with a number 1. According to the action of Q on 1. Q will send 1 to 5. Then Q will add on 5 and send it to 2. So 5 will go to 2. And Q will add on 2 and send it to 4. So 2 will go to 4. And Q will add on 4 and send it to 6. So 4 will go to 6. And Q add on 6, ascend to 8, so 6 will go to 8. And Q add on 8, ascend to 1, so 8 will go to 1. And then we still have 3 and 7 to handle, so we start with 3. Q add on 3 will go to 7. And Q add on 7 and go back to 3. Q now is a Put out two cycle now, this joint cycle in this case, Q is equal to I start from one. So one was sent to five. Then five was sent to two. Then two goes to four. Then four go to six. Six then goes to eight. Then 8 will go back to 1, therefore we close. 
And then there are two more numbers. Is 3 go to 7. So we start with start another cycle. 3 and go to 7. And then a 7 go back to 3. So we close the cycle. Q is a product of two cycle. One of them of length 6 and another one of length 2. Okay, so this is of length 6. And this is of length 2. It's a 6 cycle and a 2 cycle. Whereas P is an A cycle. This is the end of the recording.